It's Halloween and you're invited to a little party at our house. <laughs> If you're anything like me, you grew up on a cocktails of shows from Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and arguably the best channel, Cartoon Network. And around every major holiday, these channels will all get dressed up with special bumpers and of course special episodes of their flagship series. Back in the days, these times were always an event. Marathons of only special episodes depending on the season. For Christmas, it was only Christmas related episodes. For Halloween, it was only spooky episodes. It was a legitimate blast. And given that it's spooky season and that Cartoon Network just celebrated 30 years of being a network, God, I'm old. I found it appropriate to talk about a Halloween special from a series that gave the spooks every time it aired. That's right, we're talking about the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy's Halloween special. The first of many specials the series got jacked up Halloween. If you forgot, need a refresher, or are just too young to remember, dear god help me if someone hasn't seen the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy because they're too young and found this video. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy was a show airing on Cartoon Network from August 4th, 2001 to August 9th, 2007, created by Maxwell Adam. It's about two kids, an idiot boy named Billy and a very cynical girl named Mandy who challenged the Grim Reaper in a game of limbo. If the kids lost, the Grim Reaper would not just take their souls, but also Billy's dying hamster soul too. If they won, Grim became their best friend forever. You could guess who won. Originally airing as a combo series called Grim and Evil, where it shared a 30 minute block with the show Evil Con Carne, a show about a guy whose brain and stomach are trapped in a body of a bear trying to take over the world. Yes, it's as fever dreamish as I remembered. And The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy became its own solo show. God, there are some things in the show that I can't believe we got away with watching. And the animator team got away with showing. The show somehow balanced the humor and lightheartedness of a normal cartoon meant for children mixed with the strange and the macabre of a concept of two kids befriending the embodiment of death. Episodes will be filled with references and nightmare fuels and humor. The series was extremely popular back in the day, winning two Grammys, an Annie Award, and nominated for a lot more awards. Now the first special of the series was only on in the show. Jacked Up Halloween aired on October 1st, 2003 being the 15th episode of the series according to HBO Max. So how does the Halloween episode of the series hold up almost 20 years later? Quick answer, surprisingly well. So a quick recap of the main plot of the special. It's the night of Halloween. Mandy is going as Hamlet with Grimm as the skull everyone monologues to, while Billy dresses up as, well, the Grim Reaper. And after breaking this random old lady who had enough candy in her house to give about a hundred people enough cavities to keep dentists employed for years to come, we find out the origin of one Jack O'Lantern. A practical joker that got on everyone's nerves that they set him up to die. While Grim was there to reap the show of Jack, he tricked him into becoming immortal. Grim wasn't too happy with that and cut off his head, causing him to don a pumpkin as a new head and to rarely come out of his house, which has been in the center of Engeville since the event. Until Billy casually walks up to his house, tells him that he actually has the Grim Reaper's scythe, and gets tricked into giving it to Jack starting the end of the world. So, you know, a typical Tuesday. Jack's whole plan is to cut Grim's head off with his own scythe, because once you cut someone's head off with the scythe, it stays off. But because of a strange combination of many trying to prank the prankster, and Owen falling into all the traps, Grimm and the city of Engeville are saved, and Grimm sends Jack literally to hell. 
When I watch the episode, I remember it being a bit more spooky and longer. Guess the spooky feeling I got was because it was always around Halloween time when it was aired. And I watched it at night, right after something like Batman vs Dracula or the scariest movie on Cartoon Network. My Scary Godmother. Shows and movies that really get you into the Halloween mood. Or maybe it's cause of opening song they use for the episode. Like listen to it and tell me it doesn't fit the mood of Halloween. As for the longer bit, it turns out it was an hour long special and the final of the Grim and Evil episodes. But I don't remember the evil episode that was tied to the special. The episode was just as fun as I remembered it though. Wayne Knight kills it as Jack O' Lantern. Friend, don't lose your head! The bit with Owen having to change costume because Mandy tells him he should be scary on Halloween was kind of funny at times. His first costume was a princess and when he comes back, he's a banana. Like what in God's name makes a banana scary? What about a turtle? Do I even want to know? Given the show, the answer is probably no. I really like the backstory they gave for Jack too. It reminds me of a crude parody version of the Legend of Sleepy Hollow sort Disney did. They straight up sent this man to get killed off because he was annoying. Do you know how annoying you have to be to have the entire town prey on your downfall? He had no friends, only ops. Billy and Mandy jacked up Halloween was a surprisingly fun trip down memory lane that holds up still. Hell, I've been rewatching the series while writing the script and editing this video, and the entire series still somehow holds up. Sure, it, it wasn't as scary or at least creepy as something like Goosebumps or your casual courts the Cowardly Dog episodes. But in my defense, I was a kid who would rather watch a fun adventure set on Halloween than a show or episode meant to scare you. Maybe I'll do a video about Big Boogie Adventure and the Spider Queen episode. Let me know if you want that. Might even do more CN specials or shows too. But until then, I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween. And stay away from talking pumpkins. On a Cartoon Network Halloween, we've got Camp Laszlo. The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. Nice try. Look. And Billy and Mandy's Jacked Up Halloween. Happy Halloween, you nutty kids! It's all part of a Cartoon Network Halloween. Tonight at 7.30 on Cartoon Network.